Hey guys, this is Corey from Memphis Man Fire, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Ernie Ball and Music Man. It all came around during Warp Tour. Um, we had been going through, you know, trialing out at a few different companies at the beginning of Warp, and things weren't working out. Sent me out a model of my own to try, and I. The more I play it, the more I love it. You know, it's like the perfect bass for me. I don't know why I hadn't tried it sooner, to be honest. The ones that I'm playing personally are the uh, the double humbucker stingrays, and uh, man, it's just an insane tone you can get out of them. They're, it's the first active bass that I've played. I've been running passive basses, but the double humbucker setup and it's got a growl that. Like, nothing can compare to it. You know, sometimes you get a guitar from the factory and it's like buying a guitar from Walmart, you know. Every little detail, you know, that I've seen thus far with the Ernie Balls that I've been playing is just immaculate. selling point on the, the models that I'm playing is the, the thin neck, a little more low profile, and it's just so easy to get around on, it's insane. Immediately feel like a better bass player. I've been playing um, Ernie Ball steel strings for, like I said, as long as I can remember. For one thing, they're the most affordable strings, I think, that are out there you know, in any guitar shop. Yeah, and I also think they're the best, so yeah, they win in every department there. The dark room that I'm in becomes dimly lit.